WISN 12 News. I can retire, then my kids can retire, then my kids' kids can retire. <laughs> Big dreams for the second largest lottery jackpot in history. The $700 million Powerball numbers drawn seconds ago. <laughs> A teacher punched in class. The story is getting national attention. What happened when 12 News tried to go to the student's court hearing? And Hillary Clinton on Donald Trump. My skin crawled. What she says was going through her mind during a tense presidential debate. How many of you are clutching a piece of paper with Powerball numbers on it? right now. You're one of them right there. The numbers are being drawn for the $700 million jackpot. The numbers will be on the bottom of your screen as soon as we have them. But right now, Nick Bohr is live at a Pewaukee gas station where they're hoping lightning strikes twice, Nick. Right, Patrick, that's because this is the place a $155 million ticket was sold just this past spring. People are hoping for luck again. Even that massive number, though, pales in comparison to the $700 million jackpot up for grabs tonight. The jackpot seems unreal, and with the odds at $292 million to one, it pretty much is. But it doesn't stop us from dreaming about what we'd do with it and for many, how they'd spread it around. Help my mom out, help my son, my niece, my sister. I would donate to animals, cancer research. A $156 million winner popped out of that very machine this spring. The boss told me to come over here. <laughs> she, she, she told me, go over to that place that, that they won one time. So I did. <laughs> one for her, one for me. So not going nuts on it? No, no, all it takes is one, right? That recent history here at the mobile station is impacting a lot of players. Well, I was stopping for gas, and I just so happens I saw this sign, and I said, hey, try my luck. Believe it or not, Lee Bird didn't even realize the jackpot was so high until I told him. Oh, 700 million. Okay, so that means I can retire, then my kids can retire, then my kids' kids can retire. <laughs> and, of course, I had to uh, take a shot as well here, taking a shot on a Powerball ticket as well. Uh, the good news, uh, I, f I suppose, is that uh, I'll still be reporting the news for a while. Reporting live here in Pewaukee, Nick for WISN 12 News. Uh, good to see you're taking it all in stride, Nick. Thank you. Well, plenty of people are still dreaming of hitting the jackpot. The reality... As Nick mentioned, you're looking at odds of one in 292 million to hit the big prize. A math professor in Wisconsin says there are about 300 million people in the country. So it's like picking one person in the country if everyone bought a lottery ticket. It's just about the lowest probability you can think of. I even read that you're more likely to get struck by lightning while drowning at the same time than you are to win this jackpot. Oh, no. okay. The jackpot has rolled over 20 times since mid-June. It is the second largest Powerball prize ever. So now the winning numbers, they were just drawn. Here they are, 6, 7, 16, 23, and 26. The Powerball is 4. We're watching for first word of a winner when we get more information. If it happens during this newscast, we'll be sure to tell you. Developing tonight, the beating of a Milwaukee teacher is getting national exposure. A disturbing scene just weeks after the school year began in Milwaukee, a high school student arrested. The video, which we first showed you last night at 10, shown to the viewers of ABC's World News Tonight. In it, a student at South Division High School punches a teacher several times yesterday morning. We still don't know what led up to it, but Milwaukee's mayor is calling it a criminal act. Our paramount concern is the safety of our teachers. They're, they're in these classrooms every day. They have to be safe. This young man has to be prosecuted. Police referred the 16-year-old student, whose name is not being released, for juvenile charges. 12 News was not allowed inside his court hearing today. MPS provided no update on the teacher's condition, but a staffer tells 12 News the school community is very concerned because the man is described as a beloved teacher. New Atena survey finds Wisconsin the worst state in the nation when it comes to racial inequality. The group called 24-7 Wall Street considered several factors when developing the rankings, including household income, unemployment, home ownership, and incarceration rate. The five worst states are in the middle of the country. Minnesota, Iowa, South Dakota, and Illinois joined Wisconsin.
The FBI is getting involved after suspicious letters wind up at two different Wisconsin police departments in just two days. A letter in Green Bay sent to a captain and another employee to a hospital yesterday. This morning, Oak Creek police received a similar looking letter. It prompted a full hazmat response. After testing, crews confirmed the Oak Creek envelope did not contain any dangerous substances. The death of an infant in Milwaukee at an in-home daycare is being ruled a homicide. This is video of seven-week-old Savea Reed recorded Monday night. She died the next day, yesterday afternoon, at the daycare near 77th and Villard. Police say she had blunt force trauma injuries. Police arrested two people at the daycare. A three-car crash caused thousands of dollars in damage to a Milwaukee cemetery. One car plowed through a fence and flipped over last night at Holy Cross Cemetery near Appleton and Keefe. It damaged about 10 grave markers and knocked down 70 feet of fencing. A surprise in West Dallas inside an unwanted medicine bottle. Police recently found jewelry inside an orange prescription pill bottle. The bottle didn't have a label. Someone placed it in a 24-hour medicine drop box at the police department. If you accidentally gave the jewelry away, contact West Dallas Police. It is a little cool out there on this August night. As I was leaving today, I thought, do I need my jacket? It depends. You're tough, <gasps> Joyce. You don't need that you know, jacket yet. I'm not mentally ready. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are not mentally ready. But yes, temperatures are already dropping down to the 50s in some locations in our area. You can see it right now. Temperatures around southeastern Wisconsin as cool as 55 in West Bend, 56 degrees in Beaver Dam. Uh, it's nice sleeping weather. It's a little cool for this time. It could be worse. 49 degrees in Rhinelander. There is actually a frost advisory in the UP. We'll show you that coming up. As you get out tomorrow morning, partly sunny skies, kind of a mix of clouds and sun. Could be a passing shower. 62. The temperature then by noon, partly sunny skies. Temperatures around 70 degrees. The possibility of water spouts in the forecast. I'll have more on that coming up in a couple minutes. Thank you, Mark. Following a raucous rally in Phoenix last night, President Donald Trump went to Reno today where he focused on unity. It is time to heal the wounds that divide us and to seek a new unity based on the common values that unite us. We are one people with one home and one great flag. The president also spoke about veterans' issues. He signed new legislation aimed at improving the appeals process for veterans' health care. President Trump returned from Reno tonight, arriving back at the White House. To come in 2018, the race for governor is getting a little more crowded. I'm Tony Evers, and I'm running for governor of this great state of Wisconsin. State School Superintendent Tony Evers made his gubernatorial run official today. He is now one of several Democrats challenging Governor Scott Walker in 2018. Evers is pledging to heal political divisions in the state, which he says have been stoked by Governor Walker and President Trump. We must be clear, Trump and Walker are not a symptom of our divisions. They are the cause. Enough is enough. I'm elect as when I'm elected governor of the state, the politics of division will end on day one. Evers is the fifth Democrat to announce his candidacy. Two of the highest profile candidates are Milwaukee businessman Andy Gronick and state representative Dana Walks of Eau Claire. Governor Walker has not announced if he will seek a third term at an economic development event in Milwaukee today. He came about as close to saying he's running as he could. I think it's pretty clear. People know I'm ready. It's probably the worst kept secret uh, that I like what I'm doing. I'd like to continue doing it. We'll make it official at some point in the future. Governor Walker has said he will make an official announcement after the state budget is passed. The primary is less than a year away on August 14th. The 2017 Class Act phone bank is in the books. Over the past two days, we were able to raise nearly $67,000. That's enough to buy 4,400 backpacks full of school supplies for Milwaukee area children. The money benefits MPS students and the Salvation Army. And by the way, that total doesn't yet include money and supplies dropped off at today's Stuff the Bus event. We want to thank all of you for your generosity. Never fail to come through. And now to the numbers everyone's been waiting for. The winning Powerball numbers have been drawn. Here they are, 6, 7, 16, 23, and 26. The Powerball is 4. And by the way, we just learned the jackpot has been updated to $758.7 million. 
It is the second largest prize in the history of the game. Hillary Clinton reveals what she was thinking during a debate with Donald Trump. And she wonders if she should have reacted differently. Do you turn, look him in the eye, and say loudly and clearly, back up, you creep? The excerpts from her new book on why she believes she lost. Walmart and Google are teaming up against Amazon, how the partnership may change how you shop. And another brute force ATM burglary, the forklift riding thieves caught on camera. And a candy bar that tastes like cough medicine. Why would anyone buy it? Wild soup.